Okay, girls, <laughs> what did you think of the article in the National Post recently about the 50 dangerous things you should let your children do? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I've got some things to say about it, but I'm gonna let you guys have a kick at the can first. Well, I think this is a quite the spicy, provocative book by Jeever Tully, who I think is based out of California. And this is for any hyper, overprotective parent who is sort of catering to the bubble wrapped kids and video generation children who we seem to overprotect and say you cannot do anything dangerous. Everything has to be very mild, easy, um, nothing too dangerous that could hurt yourself. Well, so, I think all parents want to have their children be safe. Like, there's, that goes right. without being said. You don't about, want your child to, to be at risk for harming himself. Right. But at the same time... <laughs> but you got to grow you up. you got to grow up and, and hurt yourself. And these bodies were meant for some bruising Yeah, and like when I go like this, <laughs> to, to <laughs> We were meant to fall out of trees and stuff, yes. you know? And, uh, I mean, I look back at my childhood, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, where was my parents? <laughs> Where were they? <laughs> Where were they? they were sitting at home. in the forest. I, I mean, know, I, I, I had a lot of independence. And I think independence is good for children to be able to explore their environment, try things, you know. Um, yeah, this whole idea of coddling children. Yeah. We're not raising a generation that is resilient. Helicopter hovering parents, yeah. uh, not entirely good. We heard this week, we were reminded that children, boys are spending 42 hours a week alone girls over 30. Mm. And now is it that's video gaming? alone okay. with technology, mm -hmm. not really connecting. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> excuse me, not getting out, not learning life skills, yeah. not having fun and adventure. Uh, so I'm all for that. I'm all for getting them away from all that mm -hmm. stuff and getting their bodies moving. I, I'm not sure all of the suggestions in this book, I think some of them might put my home at risk. Uh, <laughs> and I mean, like yeah. setting a fire? Well, have to Other get people's to lives at risk? Yeah. I think there's a balance. Well, I've never so, yeah. melted glass. That's one yeah, that's Yeah, but you know the thing is, it's not saying to go and just throw your kids into dangerous situations. It's helping kids manage... Mm -hmm the skill of danger, because they said if you don't help kids manage this or even even give them opportunity, when they get older, they're gonna be these fragile kids, uh, adults, who don't know something happens, they get all freaked out and they don't know how, what to do. Well, I think that uh, one of the points of the book is let children experience mm -hmm. danger so they know how to handle it right. mm -hmm. firsthand when they encounter it when they get older. I mean, things like uh, burn things. See, I raised, <laughs> I raised two sons, okay, a daughter and two sons, and they're all older now, but burn things with a magnifying glass, done that. Uh, drive a nail, done that. Drop from high places, they've done that. <laughs> Whittle something, make a rope swing, play with fire. <laughs> Not too much, but building a campfire. Hey, Let yes, them so build a yes. campfire. Yeah. You know, uh, just not in the, the basement. I had to, I had it's to put, no, not in the basement. That's true. <laughs> I had to put a question mark next to this one. Cook something in, in the, the dishwasher. dishwasher. Well, See, you can do salmon wise... fillets apparently in oh, the dishwasher. Can. Yeah, and, and foil. fish works but, very oh, well. Foil. But no, no, no. <laughs> that's what a stove oven is for. I right. mean, you know, I don't know. Call me crazy, but we mm -hmm, wash right. dishes in the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. We cook in the oven. But the book also uh, says it's it's parents because in the article as well, there are parents that were upset that schools weren't allowing children to, you know, fall down a, a snowbank. And as I was talking to a teacher friend of mine, she was saying the reason why camps and schools are very cautious about that is because of high liabilities. Yeah, schools don't want to be sued. So it really needs hmm. to sit and land with parents' responsibility to say, mm -hmm. why don't I go with my child and build a, you know, go sleep in the wild, throw a tent in the backyard and, and melt something with a magnifying glass. I think that parents, again, need to be involved in, in these sort of dangerous now, activities. Denise, you chuckled. Could you see Melinda actually <laughs> pitching no, a tent in the backyard with the kids? We need to do some survival <laughs> courses. No, seriously, I did uh, a while ago, I did do some survival training and uh, winter camping. And you know what? I had to say, like, it's in me. You know, it's like we were made to survive yeah. things and there are skills that we have, but if you don't exercise them, you never know right. what's there. And was it fun, winter camping? It was in I endured it. <laughs> <laughs> there was the pause. Enjoyable, but no, <laughs> no it was endurable. It was as enjoyable as it could be, let's okay. say that. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? I think as parents, we do need to kind of let go a little bit more and let our kids explore the world around them. But we, we have to realize, too, it's a different world than yeah. when we and grew I think up. There, is Things, a lot of fear. there are dangers out there that perhaps weren't there when we were growing up. So, so ladies, be mindful of. then it's time for us to go in the wild and 
and make a fire and make a fire and fly a kite in the wind and whittle away at something with a knife. Yes. And maybe that will help us become All right. more danger proof or something. I disagree with the statement that it's the safest time in history for children to be outside. To be outside. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I, I would mean, say the technology I, is a lot uh, more dangerous than anything with internet, you know, mm, online right. predators and mm. everything else. I think mm. that is more dangerous than letting your kids climb a tree. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a discussion that needs to.